Self-care, for example, when I do trainings, I say the pie, I have come up with something called the pies model. P means physical, I is intellectual, E is emotional, S is spiritual. So trying to find balance in all of those areas. And then we're looking at different levels. So you can talk about self-care just in order to survive, for example, physically. If you eat, sleep, rest, you know, getting the basic needs covered, you will survive. But when you want to thrive, you have to go a little bit beyond that. Eating healthy foods, abstaining from practices that I think we were talking about a little bit earlier. So let's think about that. But I go beyond that when I think about self-care because self-care for me has to do with having healthy boundaries, knowing when to say no, knowing that you cannot be everything to everybody. That is a huge part because in this culture, you know, everything, do everything, there we you know, people pleasing down the line, but when you learn to take care of yourself, and in order to do that, you have to know yourself first. You have to know who you are and what your needs are. Most of us have absolutely no idea who we are, what we need, what we want, because we've been conditioned to care for everyone else, and so our needs get neglected. So self-care, knowing yourself, maintaining good boundaries, and managing stress, I think, is another one, too. I think sitting with yourself and being still, which is the most astronomically difficult thing in this culture to do. I don't see any way other than being with yourself, being comfortable with yourself. Most of us cannot sit still for two seconds. It takes an, it's an inward process. It's nothing outside of you that you need. And that's a, that's a deep statement, but you know, I, I can explain that maybe in another. <laughs> you don't need anything outside of yourself. And if you think of ourselves as a microcosm of the universe and the planet, everything that exists, exists outside of you is inside of you. Study yourself, go inward, find out what you want, what you need, what you desire. And you have to strip every role, you have to say, now, I'm not Dorothy the wife, I'm not Dorothy the drummer, I'm not Dorothy the psychologist, I'm not Dorothy the... Who am I in my essence, essentially, fundamentally, who am I? Some of us have absolutely no idea because we've never taken time to investigate ourselves. We study everything, you know, but actually when you sit still, that's when all the pain shows up. That's when the demons come, you know, the stuff that you've been repressing and running from your entire existence, it shows up, but it wants to be there. It wants to exist. It wants expression. It wants, it's like I feel this little girl inside of me before I found who I was, just crying for attention. You know, Shaha, I'm here. Don't keep running away from me. I'm here, I want to express myself. I wanna show you who I am. But you will never be able to take care of yourself if you don't know what you need and you don't know who you are. You'll always be at the end of a string that someone else pulls, Howard Thurman. You will never be able to, you know, take care of yourself if you don't know what you need. Well, let me hear you say my